Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the media fighting back. And after we got really good news that Andrew Yang would be in the debates next week with not much time to spare, uh, this came out. It dropped the same day, basically. And Alyssa Milano drops out of Yang fundraiser, citing sexual misconduct allegations against an unnamed campaign aide. Now, if you follow the media, especially CNN or MSNBC, uh, this is a very disturbing line of attack because in first time, there was that one individual who got married, then accused Andrew Yang of discrimination against married women. Then another anonymous, a second person came out and said that there was a wage gap. I dispelled both reasons as being unreasonable. In the first case, the woman went on for a long vacation, returned, the sales were up in her absence, and her team, according to her, performed better without her than with her. And she was making over $100,000 a year and was given two years severance. So that's kind of nice. In the second case, the person immediately after receiving a raise to make $100,000 plus decided to move across, not across country, but to Washington, D.C., I believe, from New York and work remotely, but wanted to be paid exactly the same amount of money. That's not typically... You know, if you had to hire a remote worker, one of the reasons you hire them is because they are cheaper, not more expensive, right? You just gave her a raise. And now we have the allegation that not Andrew Yang, again, this is not an allegation on Andrew Yang. It is a repeated allegations of sexual misconduct against a campaign staffer by a campaign staffer. Obviously, this is kind of a big issue, but it's not the only time this has happened. Um, Bernie Sanders' campaign, when he was campaigning against Hillary, uh, you can look at the articles, had this same scenario where Bernie Sanders and his campaign staff encouraged the females to sleep in the same rooms as the males, in the same beds, I guess to uh, save money. And there was a lot of reported uh, sexual allegations uh, for Bernie Sanders campaign as well. You can go ahead and check it up. Uh, it's bigger news because you have a celebrity attached to it. Now, Alyssa Minno has always, uh, I see her tweets on Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang does seem to have a good Twitter relationship with her. And to the point, obviously, he invited her to the fundraiser. And I'm glad to see him doing fundraising. I just want you to be aware that this will be the line of attack moving from this point on. I mean, it's very clear that the media, MSNBC and CNN, drew the line this way. You know, from the original story about, oh, he's against married people, to, oh, here's another anonymous source. He doesn't be believe in pay equality, to now here we have... Um, an unknown person or unidentified um, person abusing another Andrew Yang staffer. Obviously, it's very serious. I don't want to take anything away from this, but this will be the story, and this will definitely be something that Andrew Yang will have to address sooner than later. And he did. He addressed it in the same day. The person, the staffer, is no longer part of the campaign who was accused. Um, they probably did their own investigation. Uh, however, this is the news. Um, and it's both kind of a double-edged sword. Um, it's interesting that they do attack him because they probably, they would not attack him if he was a lame duck, right? So I don't want to say it's good that we are being attacked because I don't think that would be correct. But they are paying attention to him, and you can see just like a snap of the finger, you have the major outlets, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, The Hill, and whatever this one is. With uh, a Washington Examiner with uh, Elizabeth Warren's ad right there. 
Look at that, Elizabeth Warren has plenty of plans. What does that mean for you? The Washington Examiner goes in debt. Okay. Deaf, okay, not debt. <laughs> Probably it's in debt anyway. Most of these newspapers are in debt of some type. So, I don't know. Um, it's, it's going to be more and more of this similar type of attack because if you look at it, all the attacks have been lined up to make a bold accusation against Andrew Yang, which I'm sure that you can connect the dots to. Uh, I'm sure all, all of you can connect the dots to understand what is going to be next in line, I guess. I think it's savage for the media to do that, but it's also, again, I don't want to say it's good because this is never good to have your name in any way associated with this, but it seems very desperate for the media to drag Andrew Yang down by accusing him of, not even him, just a staffer that he probably didn't even hire, may not even have talked to, mistreating others in a campaign. And this is actually a very common circumstance. So all three things that he's being accused of doing are just common workplace circumstances um, where, you know, you, you have this behavior. I mean, it happened with Bernie's thing multiple times with multiple women, by the way. And I don't see... The only issue is you have a celebrity attached with it and it does seem, Andrew Yang has to be very careful around women he interacts with now, from this point on. That would be my advice for him, because it seems like the narrative of CNN is going a certain way. And connect the dots, you can figure out what that probably means.